I want to try to convince you that bacteria can talk to each other. And so now you've already heard that there's a lot of bacteria, they know where they are, they know their neighborhoods, they know what jobs they're supposed to do, they are decidedly organized, they're not just you know, swishing around willy-nilly. And so I think that's all very interesting and good, but the question that my lab has is even if you have these beautiful spatial and temporal arrangements, how do bacteria get any bang for their buck? There's still these itty bitty little critters that do all of these horrible things that you hear about in the newspaper, but they also do all of these miraculous things on Earth, like keep us alive. So I want to try to show you that not only did they, they develop architecture, they developed multicellularity. They learned to talk to each other, they know how to coordinate their behavior, they've learned and evolved ways to, to work as groups, and they get to do things that they couldn't do as individuals. In theory, with these conversations, we can make something useful to get bacteria to stop doing bad things or to keep doing the good things they do. Bonnie, would you agree with me that some people uh, think that microbiology means small and not very interesting, and some students would be uh, scared to go to microbiology compared to go to development or neurobiology or brain science? I agree with you. I think that, that, that um, this unfortunate lack of, of appreciation of how sophisticated bacteria are and how complicated they are um, makes people think that you can't discover big things by working in microbes. But I think, you know, microbes invented it all. And so I feel like the graduate students that come with me, you know, they get a big project, they can really solve something, and then they end up helping all these people that work on higher organisms. And I think that they're coming to the realization that bacteria are going to be the answer to the world's most pressing problems. Like they're going to give us the answers to food and health and energy. And so I just think young people who want to get into science right now, they should totally go into bacteria. Bacteria.